All right, do a quick walk around. I uh, encountered a problem today. I went to go start up my hydraulic pump because I had everything to the point of where I think I was ready to ready to rock and uh, I couldn't get my pump to engage. So that was troubling. Uh, I ended up having to take the top off, take her top off. Um, and what I found out was the shifter linkage was, uh, was completely jammed up. It was gunked up and and uh, wouldn't uh, wouldn't mesh the gears. Um, so it's uh, I guess a prime opportunity for you to see the inside of this beast, and um, I'll, I'll give you a kind of a quick rundown of how this this whole onboard pump and shift mechanism works. Um, so on the bottom side of this very large cast iron plate, you'll see the the pump. So that mounts on the bottom. It's got the two ports, the suction port and the discharge port. Those go right up through the casting into the valve body. And it's just a, you know, straight up gear pump, gear rotor pump, nothing special. Um, it has a um, mating gear. So it's a bevel gear that mates up to a gear that's on the um, the output shaft here. This shaft actually runs the length of the tractor from the rear all the way up to the uh, flywheel. So this actually turns it engine RPM. So that's the shaft that is, um, uh, uh, I'll call it the inner drive shaft. There's an outer drive shaft and that's your clutched drive shaft and that's what powers the transmission. But this actually goes through the in inside of all that other stuff. So this is always running. And, and this is one of the um, one of the essential kind of one of the essential design features of this tractor is that it's got a, a you know it's completely coupled to the engine. It's not it's not clutched through power transmission. It's a direct shaft that goes right from your engine at engine RPM all the way back to your power takeoff. Um, so there is gear reduction in that. So obviously because your power takeoff only spins at like you know 500 600 RPM. Um, so this has a clutch pack and a gear reduction in it, uh, which, which drops the speed and pumps up the torque. Um, but, uh, I thought that was, that's, that's kind of neat. You can actually see it. You can see it live on camera. Um, the state of the transmission fluid in this is pretty sad. This is actually brand new. This is fresh. I just replaced this like, uh, I don't know, maybe a week ago. Um, so... It's got that uh, very disgusting brown milkshake quality to it that um, indicates to me that this probably still had quite a bit of moisture in it. Um, so I'm not surprised. I mean, this thing sat for 30 years, it, you know, maybe even longer. So it, it sat for decades. And, you know, the stuff, the stuff that came out of here when I brought it over to my place in... in, in dumped it out last year was not in really good shape either so um i don't have huge expectations for what i was going to find here but um uh, that being said i you know this will be a prime opportunity for me to drain that even though it is new i'm, I'm going to drain it out and uh and refill it i've actually heard of people that that will drain that out and fill their entire you know transmission case with like kerosene to help, uh, well, I guess, degrease and clean, degrease and cleanse, um, and then they'll drain that out, and then they'll they'll fill it with fresh fluid. But I think that's a little that's a little overkill for my my situation. Um, I think I'm just going to flush it and refill it. Um, the neat part about this is if you can if I can position the camera just right in the back there, you see the differential. So there is a high point gear stub that comes from the output of the transmission that drives that differential. And on the ends of that differential are two very large pinion shafts with some some uh, BA bushings. They're about six inches in diameter. And those actually stick out. The stubs of those actually stick out and they're splined and that's what, what gives you your braking, um, the shaft for your, uh, for your brakes. 
and that pinion mates up to these big honking gears so these are called the bull gears and that is uh that's what drives your axle so those are those are coupled up to your uh, drive axles and those suckers are they are massive so pretty interesting i uh i could only imagine what a chore it would be to get those out uh um it's kind of a neat kind of a neat uh transmission setup i guess the the thing that made this really cool is it's like a, a four wall design so you've got not just a box but you've got these walls inside the box so it's um, that gives it uh, an incredible amount of strength but getting back to the, the the whole pump and the pump shift mechanism um so the way it works is you've got this you got the, basically this on off selector um, that you're supposed to engage with the power off, right? So you wouldn't have the engine running uh, on this because these are straight cut gears and they're not meant to They're not meant to uh, mesh dynamically um, So before you start up the tractor you would engage this and it's got a little um, Got a little connecting linkage that goes back here to a shift shaft that just pops this uh, this gear on the transmission, or excuse me, on the uh, on the drive shaft, it it's spring loaded, but it, it it'll engage with your pump. So if you can imagine, I've got that big casting bolted back down on here. The gears of the pump would be would live somewhere in here. When it's off, this guy's back here, right? And the gears are just free to rotate. Um, so it is spring loaded. So when you, um, so if you're in a situation where it's in their bevel gears, if you're in a situation where it's tooth to tooth and those don't mesh perfectly, um, I, I guess the idea is you crank that over, it'll compress the spring, and then you know when you're when you're cranking it over with the starter, it'll uh, it'll put enough spring pressure on it to get it to 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 face and uh, and mesh properly. So what I had found in this example was. I, I, I could sit here and I could turn this guy all day long, right? And even when I had it in the on position, it was still it was stuck all the way back here. All I was doing was compressing the spring. This thing was just stuck here. And it, really where it was stuck was on this um, shift rail. So this thing had sat for, you know, 30 years. And it had just, it was just completely caked with garbage like uh, rusty, rusty, cruddy, nasty looking stuff. So I had to get in there and scrape all that junk off and uh, and uh, splash some oil up on it. And now it's now it's like effortless. So uh, I'm optimistic that I can put the top back on, put her top on, and it's gonna it's gonna work properly, and I can actually get this stinking pump project finished. Um, yeah, so this whole thing, fortunately, I had it, um, I had it under the overhead, so I could, I could just pick this sucker up and and drop it back in place, because that thing is, that thing is beyond heavy. It's all cast iron. It's a big cast iron, monolithic cast iron piece, and also it's got the tank on it, and and actually the tank is still filled with fluid, so, uh, it's uh, it's not light. So uh, more to come. Uh, I'll, I'll snap another video here once I get this all put back together, and hopefully, we'll have that. Uh, we'll have a working pump this time.